An emergency C-section calls the team from Bakersfield to surgery before the sun comes up. When I saw her in the emergency room, her clothes were completely soaked with blood and we knew that something was wrong. We weren't able to pick up any evidence that the baby was alive as we listened to try to find the heart sounds of the baby inside the belly. We couldn't hear anything. The patient was four weeks away from her delivery date. When we went in for the operation, we found the baby was actually breached. Presentation, we had to pull the baby out. And when the baby was pulled out, there was a little bit of motion in the baby. We assumed the baby couldn't survive because typically with that much bleeding, babies won't survive. But a few minutes later, I heard the baby start crying right behind me while I was doing the surgery and I knew that this baby was gonna be okay. I'm alive, my baby's alive. And in fact, I'm happy. Because I'm still confused. I don't know the actual name to give to this baby, but Miracle is always coming to my mind. Yes, for now, I'm calling him Miracle. <laughs> Miracles and moments that many of these doctors and nurses from Bakersfield met while on this whirlwind journey to West Africa. I mean, we hear all the time that there are people that don't have food in the world and that don't have medical care, but coming here and seeing it firsthand um, was just, it's just a really eye-opening experience for me. I don't yeah. know, I feel kind of sad leaving. And I've had such a wonderful time here and such an amazing experience kind of assimilating with the culture too. That's what I really enjoyed the most is seeing, seeing how, um, how other people live their lives and being able to just join in with them. The people, um, they, just have, they just have this unique quality about them, about life. They're so joyful. In five days, over a thousand patients were seen and treated from the quiet, tiny, remote villages in the jungles of Nigeria to the volatile outbursts from long lines of people desperate and impatient in the big city. The encounters and experiences have been unlike anything this team of medical professionals has ever seen. One of my best experiences was the kids. I brought soccer balls for the children and just getting to see their faces. It's been truly rewarding. They follow us up the street, um, following the balls, and they're just so excited to see in their faces. It was amazing, like in their eyes, which we could see that they were full of joy. For example, just a football, you know, it could make a big difference. I never imagined, in, never imagined. I want to come back. It's changed me in the way that I want to come back and I want to help these people, and I, I feel like you know, we, there's so many people here in Nigeria and we can't help all of them, and I, I just, but I want to. I want to come back and just try to help, help them as much as I can. Coming here, I had some expectations by what I saw on TV, but getting here, I am like, it has touched me in so many different ways. With the team just hours away from coming home to Kern County, a final service at the hospital compound brings most of the staff members here in Nigeria, even nursing school students, together to say goodbye. A chance for Nigerians to thank the team for all the work here in West Africa never knowing it was the team who needed to thank them. We've dealt with so many hundreds of people this past week who haven't had the, um, the opportunity to have medical care or any type of health education at all. So it has been extremely rewarding. Probably the best thing I've ever done. And as a thank you, we are honored with a hand-carved wooden plaque to remember this vibrant, colorful, complex, and desperate nation. A place filled with hope and despair, life and death. It is bittersweet. I mean, I'm so ready to go home and sleep in my own bed, but I just feel like there's so much that hasn't been done. You always think about, you know, could we have done more? Could we have squeezed more in? Could we have helped more people? 
that for me is always the hardest part about going home and could we have done more to actually uh, help improve the health of the, of the people here and I think we've done an amazing amount and I think that it's not only blessed the people of Nigeria but it's really blessed uh, our team as well. The members of this team from San Joaquin Community Hospital in Bakersfield realize that being a part of a global medical mission is more than just an opportunity to make a difference in the lives of others. It's a recognition of why they do what they do and an experience that will make them better for their patients here at home.